Hi guys, welcome to a new video from Masters of Consulting. Today we have uh, Joyce. Um, <laughs> so I met Joyce in a German class. Um, so we were learning uh, C1 together. So I asked her that she could share some experiences uh, of her uh, towards the Germany and uh, give some knowledge to us. So let's just hear from her experiences and her journey towards Germany. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, because I was an exchange student in Belgium before and at that time I've traveled to a lot of countries in Europe, including Germany. And I feel quite good with uh, people in Germany because like they speak quite good English and the price are also affordable compared to other big city. So after I finished my exchange student life, I went back to Taiwan and then I, start, I started to thinking maybe I can study or work uh, in the Germany later at that time. So yeah, I started to, I started learning German a bit. Yeah. Actually, I have already done my master in Taiwan before. Yeah, but uh, uh, and then I started working in Taiwan for like around three years. I was at the beginning thinking directly apply a job here in Germany, but I think it's really difficult because yeah, you are uh, in another country, so yeah, you have to write a lot of cover letter resume, but you don't really got a lot of chance to have even an interview. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I should study another master in Germany and then. Yeah, I can also yeah, maybe try to look a job afterwards. Yeah. yeah, I was quite happy when I got admission from Tum and Aachen University, but yeah, actually, yeah, when you really started uh, starting in Germany, you notice getting the admission is the, most, the easiest step because it's really difficult and you have to struggle a lot you have to study a lot during the whole master study so yeah i was really happy but i have to say like uh yeah i, I didn't expect like studying in germany will be so challenging at that time yeah so i was so uh, like uh I think a lot of people they think uh, Germany living in Germany is quite boring. But actually, for me, I feel quite comfortable because like, because uh, the life in Taiwan is really different compared to the life in Germany. Because the life in Taiwan, we have a lot of convenience store like Seven Eleven uh, or KTV, all of this kind of stuff. So you have a lot of things to do like for twenty four hours. But in Germany, like all the shop close after eight o'clock. So. Yeah, I think a lot of people they feel bored because like don't really know what to do like in the uh, in the evening and for weekends like people here they really like to do outside active outdoor activities like uh, hiking or yeah like uh, just uh, uh, having a picnic in the yeah in uh nearby the lake so yeah i think like i would say like the life here is really different compared to yeah in taiwan yeah, yeah I, I think german people they are very very direct but i think um yeah like the first time of course you feel a bit shocked like oh my god how can they be so direct but actually after uh like after time to time actually i feel much better because i compared to because like uh like maybe like when we are when we are uh, working in taiwan sometimes people they are not very direct so you always have to interpret what they are talking about when they say this sentence you need to understand their expression their yeah, you really have to try to figure out what they are really thinking instead of the, the thing they just literally said. But I think in Germany, because people they are really direct, so if they are not satisfied with something you have done, you can really tell, they will directly tell you, so you you don't really need to guess. So, yeah, I think like here, like, uh, I think, yeah, you also need to be direct, yeah, when you are dealing with German people, yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's a really, really good opportunity because at Tum, like you have a lot of very good professor, you also have a lot of very competitive uh, colleagues, so you can always learn a lot from other people. And I think uh, what I have learned in Germany, um, the first thing is like I, I, I finally learned how to accept a failure because like when I was in Taiwan, I never, I have never, never felt any exam. But in Germany, I have felt some exam, and with and these exam are really important for me if I want to graduate. So I think, uh, yeah, you have to. I, I have learned like a uh, failure is quite like a common, like a norm, you know, like actually it's quite normal. Everyone have, everyone has failed before. But the thing is after you fail, how you adjust yourself, how you change your attitude and how you try to improve the next time in order you can pass. Yeah. <laughs> I was applying data, uh, data engineering and analytics at Tom. Actually, this is a quite new program. I think just started from 2016. Yeah, I, and actually it's uh, like a sister program with an, uh, there's another program called data science at Tom. And these two programs are really similar. Data science is actually from mathematics department and data engineering and analytics are from a uh, informatic department so we have some military course are the same like we have a foundation in data engineering foundation of uh, data analysis this course are the same and one from informatic one from mathematics so yeah i think um yeah you can already imagine a bit like you have to pass some exam and some course are directly from mathematics department so it, it was really really challenging for students from informatic department yeah and the decision why i decided to study uh, data engineering and analytics was because uh, i was studying computer science at, in taiwan mm -hmm. and then i started working as a software engineer for three years i was doing something like a uh, synchroni synchronization with cloud and the no local device and you always have a lot of uh, data you have to process so that's also the reason I think big data is a really really hard topic now so I was really wanting to yeah, apply this program yeah. I will say like now uh, data engineer and data science and data analytics, they are all very hot topics in Germany now, but I will say because me as a data engineer, like I focus more on data engineer, I think when you have very good background about computer science, this is definitely a very big plus because yeah, you know more about the operating system, about the programming, about the software engineering, this kind of stuff. I think uh, when you decided to uh, change your job to like data engineer, yeah, then you already have a very good background. Yeah, this is a really difficult topic. I haven't really made a lot. Like, uh, uh, I, I remember once I was with, uh, with friends and then maybe some people, like, they were just passed by us and they say, oh, Acton Corona, Corona, something like this. So this, of course, doesn't really make people feel comfortable, but I was, I, I, I don't know whether the way I'm, I, I'm doing is correct, but usually I just ignore. So if people say something to me, I pretend like, okay, I didn't listen to them or they were talking to other people. I was thinking like if you really made something which makes you feel very uncomfortable, the first thing is you shouldn't take it this as target at you. You should think, okay, I think he's just talking to someone else. Yeah. yeah, I will actually I will yeah, I will recommend to come to Germany because I think so. For me, it's a really nice experience because I have uh, experienced something I have never met before. So, and actually, you will also learn a lot of things like about a lot of uh, bureaucratic uh, procedure, like when you need to do a meldon, when you need to find an apartment, when you need to get a license, when you need to apply the uh, blow card for your working visa. 
I mean, like when you were in a foreign country, of course you have to be independent. Of course you will learn a lot of things. And yeah, so I think, yeah, I will really think it's a very good yeah, opportunity. Yeah, then thank you so much and have a uh, wonderful journey. Wow, thanks a lot, Joyce, for uh, sharing your uh, knowledge and your experiences. Mm -hmm. I hope it was useful for people out there. Guys, so if you want us to interview a person of a particular background, please let us know in the comments below. Okay? Oh. So, hi guys, if you have liked the video, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. And once again in Taiwanese. Okay, so uh, if you like this video, please like, share and Thanks a lot, Joyce, mm -hmm. for your um, valuable insights. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Not insects. Such a life. Or a situation. Or a share.